watching Morning Mix. Have you ever wondered why some people are able to bounce back after difficult events in their lives? Would you like to know the secret? Well, it's resilience. One organization here in the CSRA is dedicated to teaching teens just that at their upcoming summit. The Resilient Teen Summit is coming to Evans this month and here to tell us more about it is marketing and event coordinator Rebecca Best. Rebecca, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Uh, for the people that aren't aware of this uh, at the organization itself, what is Resilient Teens? Sure. Resilient Teens is a program of resilient communities of East Georgia. Um, the program was born out of looking at kids count data and the community health assessment. This was back in 2019. Um, and looking and finding that teen suicide attempt ideation and follow through had increased by 500%. Wow. And so we recognized that we needed to do something about teen mental health. The intent was for the program to be in person, uh, but then we all know what happened in the spring of 20. 20. Uh, and so the curriculum was put together to be delivered virtually. We involved students from the Medical College of Georgia to uh, deliver the program. They were not able to go into the hospitals at the time. Um, and so they became our small group facilitators and coordinators. And so since 2019, we've served over 500 teens in a 14 county area uh, and have had over 100 medical students help us. So. And so Resilient Teens, like you said, is a program in and of itself, yes. but let's talk about the curriculum and how you're really helping build resilience within these teenagers. Absolutely. So each week um, we do a fall and a spring cohort. It's an eight week program and each week um, the teens log on to Zoom. They are um, given a large group lesson by one of the medical students and then they're broken out into small groups on Zoom by age and the uh, medical students facilitate a small group lesson, activity. Teens are able to talk to other teens um, outside of their county because we cover 14 counties and they're also able to interact with a medical student. So we've got that near peer model going on and it's just really beneficial um, to the teens to just see themselves differently and see that they're not the only ones struggling with certain things. Topics range from um, <clears throat> goal setting and purpose, body image and self care, coping with stress and suicide prevention and awareness. Lots of very important topics to cover. And of course you have the summit that's going to be coming up later this month Yes. for the teens. Tell us what's planned for that. Sure. So since we started the Resilient Teens program, one of the things that we really wanted to do was um, offer a summit where the, teen, the 500 teens that we've served, we want them to come back and we want to see them um, for the day and re-engage with some learning. So we've got um, Dan Rogers, who's executive director of Scouting America. He's going to be joining us and sharing his lessons um, from 13,000 miles of backpacking. We've got Coach K from Davidson. He's going to be talking to teens about mental health. We've got um, Judge Jay Jones coming from the judicial circuit, uh, juvenile court, kind of talk about goal, per goal setting and purpose. Um, and then we're going to end the day with a DJ party. We've hired a DJ and we're going to play games and we've got mellow mushroom for lunch. And it's really just about bringing the teens together in person and re-engaging with the learning and celebrating. I think the adults will want to show up for that too. I know some really important topics you're talking about there and then ending and off with a dance party like that just sounds perfect right? Yeah. Um, and just helping these teens build up resilience um, right. for the tough situations in their lives. Why is this an important trait for not just teens but for adults for anybody? Well mental health is a part of overall health. It's a you know it's not just about our physical health but it's also about our mental health and how um, we are able to you know face the challenges in our life, navigate those successfully, and come out on the other side in a positive way. And we just want to equip teens and, and the community with the tools. It's all about having the tools in the toolbox. Right. And if no one's ever taught you those tools or, or provided those tools to you, this is an avenue to do that and at a young age so they can carry it on into adulthood. This organization also can use the help of volunteers as well. How Absolutely. can volunteers and also parents uh, find out more information for their kids Resilient. and to assist? resilientteens.org. Yes, um, so we have information about our fall cohort that is starting um, the Monday after Labor Day. I believe that's September 9th. So we have our fall cohort. So registration right now for teens age 13 through 19 is going on right now. Um, you can also register for the summit. And because we understand that we're covering a 14 county area, one of the other things we did, we've provided a parent room. So if you want to drop your child off, you're driving in from Tolliver County, right. you want to drop your kid off, go run some errands, 
kids come back and have a place to rest while you know while they finish their day we, we're going to provide that for parents as well so uh, we have all the information on our resilientteens.org website check that website out again the summit happening on August 24th at the Nature and Adventure Center in Evans from 9 until 4 Rebecca great to see you and great thank to you so see much you. for the info thank you thank y'all for having me